Hi boys and girls, hi parents, welcome back. Your coach here, Noel, to help you with subtraction, okay? So let's take a look at these four problems here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this as easy as possible for you. And I'm gonna be subtracting by 10. So let's look at this strategy, okay? Here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 18. I'm gonna take this 18. I know that 18 minus eight equals 10. And then, because I've only got eight here, I got one more to take away. So that's going to be minus 1. So this part is 18 take away 8 is 10 minus 1 equals 9, okay? So 18 take away 9 is 9. Let's take a look at this next one, okay? Here we have 17 minus 8, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move over the 17. I know that 17 minus 7 equals 10. And then I've got one more, 7, 8, one more, minus 1 equals 9. 17 minus 8 also equals 9. Let's take a look at this one, 16 minus 9, okay? I'm going to move over to 16. 16 minus what equals 10? That's right, 6, right? 16 minus 6 equals 10. And then here, the 6 and this 9, I need 3 more. 6, 7, 8, 9. So 10 minus 3 equals 7, and that's it. 16 minus 9 equals 7. Now let's take a look at this last one. 15 minus 8. I'm going to move this 15 over. 15 minus what equals 10? That's right, boys and girls. It's going to be 5. 15 minus 5 equals 10. And here I've got an eight, a 5 and an 8. 8 and 5. Okay? 5, 6, 7, 8. I need 3 more. Minus 3 equals 7. 15 minus 8 equals 7. Outstanding, boys and girls. This is one strategy that you can use when you're doing subtraction. And remember, if you need to draw pictures, go ahead. If you need to count up, go ahead. I'm going to be showing you several strategies throughout these videos so that you can become an outstanding student in math. And parents, I want to thank you so very much. And everyone, we'll see you at the next video.